All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, let's take a look at my smartphone filter clip. cap aquarium photography stackable multi-lens kit all right so this is actually what i um use when i'm uh taking some still photos um if i want to do something quick and easy now i do have my macro lens that i use to get up close um and that has its own set of filters but this is the one i like to bring with me when i'm going to uh, like a buddy's house and i want to take a picture of the uh mother colony just so i have an image for reference so this is a kit that um, I picked up, I want to say a few months ago. And uh, I like this one versus the other ones that, that I've seen on Amazon because it's got this cool little uh, wide angle macro lens right here. I think that's something that comes in handy uh, if you want to capture the whole image. Um, so what does it come with? Well, it, um, it has basically the essentials in here and uh, I've used them all and I actually like them all. All right. so. It comes with the two filters, the uh, macro lens and the clip. So let's take a look at that. All right, so first and foremost, I just wanna say that uh, it's packaged really well. So it does come uh, with this foam inserts that, this foam insert that keeps everything organized and uh, protected. All right, so first off, you have this kind of yellowish one here and this one is um, used for 20K, that's what it says here, 20K lens. So if you have a super blue uh, antennae on or a super blue um, um, lighting on, then this would be the one to use. Now, let me see if I get an image of that. It's hard for this thing to focus, but, all right, well, hopefully you get the point. This has a yellow hue to it, and it's supposed to block out the blueness and um, it'll give you a semi-true representation of the actual color of the coral. All right, so this is the, again here, 20K lens. If you can see that, let me see if I can try to focus that out here. It's kind of hard. All right, so that's this one here. It comes with this. Uh, now this is the, 20K, I'll take it like 15K lens, and it's got more of a orange look to it. All right, so here it is. You can tell it's a bit more orange. All right. And it is, again, the 15K. If I can bring that up and focus, maybe. All right. And uh, I find myself, even though it says 15K, I find myself using this one quite often. So uh, this is my go-to here. I use this along with the actual macro. And here's the macro right here. This is the digital high definition 0.45 times super wide angle lens with macro optics. So that's what this is here. All right. So this thing is pretty heavy feels pretty solid and it's got a front and back cap to this for protection so that is the lens all right well, you can't really see in there but there's lens in there all right and what i normally do is i'll cap this with the orange just like so put those two together And then it comes with this clip here. It comes with the clip. This is the um, standard clip, but uh, I do want to say it does come with this little rubberish, rubber-ish piece right here. There's a rubber mat in here that ensures it sticks onto your phone um, and that doesn't slip off. So that's pretty neat. All right, and um, it's made to just screw on, so it's actually pretty easy to utilize. I'm gonna screw this on just like that. 
just like that squeeze right on all right and then it just clips onto your phone so mine just clips on like this since I have the s9 so it does give it a bulkiness look to it but the picture is awesome so let's see if I get you to focus right there this thing is pretty big and heavy it looks like it's got some nice magnification lens to it so it's pretty cool and the picture actually turns out pretty good when I'm using this and I've used this for uh, still photos and also for uh, videography so it works pretty well if you don't want this macro lens on you can actually take it off and I've done that just ran the 15k by itself and if you wanted to you could experiment focus you could experiment with both the uh, filters on top of each other so they're both threaded so I can actually just put this one on and then I'm running both of them you know I haven't really played with both of them because I'm always using one or the other but uh, yeah it's pretty cool that it mounts on just like this and it's very small compact lightweight and I could take it wherever I go, especially to coral meats. All right, there's the yellow one again and the orange one here. So I just want to share with you, oops, I dropped it, but here it is. It's still A-OK. -okay. It's made of this hard, um, it's kind of like, a, is it aluminum? Aluminum, it could be plastic, but it looks aluminum to me. Very nice. All right that that there and I bring this to me when I go out to some of my buddy's house and it's good to just take a reference picture especially when you're buying a coral and then uh, you just want to make sure that your coral can achieve the color that you saw when you saw the other colony so there it is guys this is just a quick look into the kit that I bought the ice cap uh, lens kit that I'm using when I'm taking it out with me so hopefully you enjoy this and if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below and uh, uh, if you want to I'll put the link down in the description where you can actually get this kit it's actually fairly reasonable at around $30 uh, and if you have any other comments anything else you'd like to see from me or my channel just let me know again I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you guys in the next video thanks